I'm Mike Handelwald, field agronomist with Vex Hybrids Cover in Northern Ohio. And down here at the London PFR site um, that Vex has just uh, west of Columbus uh, today um, with Tyler. Yeah, I'm Tyler Schindel, the PFR location lead here in London. And so uh, we're checking out plots here today and we're in some June 3rd planted corn. And we noticed some, some disease um, starting to move in and just wanted to give a quick update on some late season disease in the later planted corn that we've been seeing. So take a look, I've got one leaf here that has all three of the major uh, diseases on it that we're looking at. So we've got um, northern corn leaf blight that you can see. So that's a brown, uh, brown to gray colored lesion that spans across the veins. Here we have some gray leaf spot, um, probably not the best name because it's brown, light brown surrounded by a dark brown ring, but gray leaf spot stays within the veins. The veins kind of act like guardrails there. And then we have the notorious tar spot that you see these black spots here. And tar spot to officially diagnose it, you have to be able to um, not scratch it off. And it also shows up on both sides of the leaf. And so you can see those lesions starting to work their way through on the underside of that leaf. And so we're seeing all these diseases here in London, but the diseases have been very scattered and very sporadic. I've had a lot of reports of disease, but I've also been in a lot of fields where there is no disease, um, whether early or late planted corn. And so I encourage you um, to get out and scout, scout your fields, take a look. Even if you've already sprayed a fungicide, um, we've had an area in Northeast Indiana where they had to come back with a second pass because that at tassel fungicide didn't carry them all the way through. They had some more severe uh, tar spot pressure. So um, what you may see in your field is probably gonna be different than what, uh, what we're seeing here in London and, and what even some of your neighbors might be seeing because it's been so sporadic. Um, the weather is, uh, is also a factor here. So we've kind of, as a whole, have moved into a warmer, drier pattern. And um, I know there's some areas of the state that have been getting rains. They caught a nice rain here last night mm -hmm. um, here at London. But um, if you're in that drier pattern, you're going to be at a little bit lower risk. If you're in an area that's gotten some more rains or has heavier dews in the morning, you're going to be a little bit higher risk. Our window for that fungicide application to happen is going to be if we see disease uh, from two leaves below the ear or above prior to doe stage. And Tyler's got an ear here. Um, this is at milk stage um, that we've got, looks like a ripe ear of sweet corn. Um, and honestly, the easiest way to check it is to bite into it. And, and when you bite into it and you start to feel some of those starches forming, like it's an overripe ear of sweet corn and those, um, that starch is starting to get a little bit gritty, that's in here in the dough stage. And if you make it to the dough stage without any disease, you're in good shape and you're home free no matter what happens at that point. And a lot of our April and early May corn is already to that point. The late May and June corn is what we need to be watching. Um, and, uh, and look for that until you get to that, that dose stage. And if you do see some disease start to show up, two leaves below the ear and above prior to dough, um, go ahead and, and get after it as, as quick as possible. Um, we also um, wanted to talk a little bit about a big event coming up next week. Yeah, so we want to invite you out to Indiana for our Indiana Bechnology Days. It's August 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Mike and I will be doing tour number seven, covering everything starter fertilizer. Corn, soybeans, two by two, in furrow, additives, all of the above. So we definitely wanted to see you guys come out there. Um, come find out some more information on what we're doing out there. All right, I know it's in Indiana, but it's not a very far drive from Ohio. Well worth the time and effort to come out, especially if you've never been there before and haven't seen it. So I uh, look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions about uh, corn disease or any other agronomic topic, feel free to reach out to uh, myself or your local BEX representative, and we'd be happy to help you. Take care.